have you ever wondered what it would be like if rise of kingdoms and tomb raider had a baby of the mmorpg genre yeah me neither okay until i played time raiders and as soon as i jumped in i immediately realized the potential and luckily for me the devs behind time raiders were generous enough to sponsor today's video and honestly yeah you have to get it okay seriously there's gonna be a link in the description go ahead and download the game it's free okay because i need your help there's big boss fights and there's pvp in this game and i i'm making a clan so seriously go ahead and give it a try i i actually need your help on server five without further ado let's just jump right into it let's take a look at the character customization here we got a bunch of different options we can pick from okay okay that that looks that looks like bay right there oh my god i like this dude's haircut i feel like that's i feel like that's like if i let mine grow out a little bit i could be maybe as giga chat as this guy wait you can literally change the structure of like every single bone in his face what <laughs> No, but for real, this is literally like the most complex character creation I have ever seen in a mobile game. Like what? You could you could change the like the corners of the eyebrows. This is actually insane. I kind of want to play as her though. I'm getting Laura Croft vibes over here with like the ponytail and everything. Let's 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 take a look. Oh, we could throw it up in a ponytail. Okay, cute. Look at the physics, man. So she can have either explorer's clothes or just <laughs> what? Is the, is the gym outfit like but boys what okay okay dude i mean oh oh we could pick we could pick the colors oh my gosh these are the cutest shorts i just got these from lululemon all right i'm gonna take this seriously i'm, I'm actually gonna pick this dude Yo, we can make him the boy with the dragon tattoo okay that just doesn't seem like enough hair colors to me i mean these are almost the same thing let's change that explorer's outfit i think that's much nicer all right i think we're gucci i think we're i think we're rocking with this dude please nobody take my name please nobody take my name please nobody Nobody take my name please nobody take my name please nobody take it let's go i'm a relevant baby yeah who am i did i really experience these things why do i have these memories this is where their story begins what about my story uh, maybe this memory will lead me to answers what is that Yo, we survived an attack from a mutated fortress whale from Yu-Gi-Oh. That's one of the coolest. Uh, it's one of the coolest ritual cards in the game, by the way. Early Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, yo, hey, it's Scooby-Doo. Look at that, Zoink Scoob. We got a bunch of bats flying out of the cave. All right, so we're spawning in in like a it's like a pirate's coat. Uh, we have two camera modes. Okay, we can do uh the two and a half D is like I, I'm assuming it's like Lost Ark or like Path of Exile or, or Diablo or something like that. I'm gonna go full 3d mode although we'll see how that goes an undead lair okay all right yo this place is actually sick what do we get oh ooh. Ooh, okay we get a download reward i love that pass through this little rock formation here i bet you this text means something off on the right there we're just gonna ignore that for now let's run up here i'm sure this bridge is safe it looks completely safe no issues right there we got a little suitcase over here i bet you it's kaiba's briefcase filled with the egyptian god cards and three blue eyes white dragons nope it's just a torn up piece of paper here are some weapons for you okay weapons actually are weapons are actually sick i'll take weapons okay we've got we've got blades handguns and i actually don't know what that is let's take a look blade map i mean we're, we gotta pick blade master right this dude is dripped out okay an expert in close combat the history of blade masters traces back to the three kingdoms period so we have duelist or guardian looks like we've got the aura attached to the blade makes targets bleed over time okay so dots quickly draw a blade to perform a cross cut or pounce towards the target to drag them into combat guardian has uh strikes fear into the enemies hurting them with their own attacks blade blossom swings a blade in a circle to fend off incoming enemies and what do we got here wields the blade to charge at the enemy target i like blade blossom what do we got what do we got for the video here okay all right there she is she's looking good in the dress they look like a nice little uh nice dynamic duo there take a look at the guns oh my god he got the blicky yo he's got the gat we got the sharpshooter over here fires a bullet to damage the target's nervous system he just shoots them in the spinal cord okay it says use fancy shooting skills to defeat the enemy help teammates when they need it most fancy okay so we're not just bop bop okay we're not we're not running up in there looking like six nine okay and then we got the sage the master of the eight trigrams we got neji over here kill foes with on with loaded umbrellas um that's an umbrella what the wait hold up it's actually a little parasol we're like princess peach from smash brothers over here okay 
that's interesting we got the ritualist and the rune caster what do we got for the gut we didn't even look at the gut oh she's a, oh, good. Ba, 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 ba. okay okay that's actually kind of sick it's like uh that's like samir from tower of fantasy kind of badass i like to see that dude we got to go with the guardian i want to spin to win baby i want to blade blossom at all these all these mfers okay so let's go ahead and pick that let's pop open the briefcase yo we got the gat up there my boy got a pump actually got a shotgun if i knew there was a shotgun oh my god cut him slash wait a minute that's like a beetle with a bottle up its ass what is what what are those dude what are those okay they're blood beetles got it okay we popped off we absolutely destroyed them right away we gained a little bit of equipment there looks good what's this oh we can search we can search this little uh little lunchable over here a little briefcase we got uh, a gilded chest okay sick can i just grab this shoddy real quick can i like i know i'm a blade master but can i just have the can i just have it on me just to, just in case okay i feel like that's probably that's probably a good strategy just just i mean we're in look at this creepy cave man i feel like a sword and a shoddy might not be the worst idea let's pop off here with our oh okay 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 oh pansy lowered the bridge for us let's equip that uh that little upgrade there okay yo we're popping look at us running with the blade looking like a roshi maru over here okay oh yo he's got the shoddy okay yo he's got an ak my man's popping off can you really get an ak in this game i totally i might i might have wanted to pick the ak actually i think I have, a, I have a little bit of buyer's remorse over here let's talk to pansy we'll see what he's got going on my man's got a little bit a little bit injured over here my man my man hurt himself you know nothing a little pokey center can heal up you know what i'm saying so uh let's let's run over here to this this giant gate i'm sure that this is where we're supposed to be and we're gonna we're just gonna push it open we're just gonna get that out of the way we're gonna make it our way downtown walking fast faces past my homebound that looks like a little what in the world it yo it's the locust swarm over here yo let's go yo it's time to pop off pansy get out the get out the gat okay we're, we're popping off now boys we're popping off we gotta kill we gotta mutate it's not just a blood beetle it's a mutated blood beetle okay let's let's add more equipment we're gearing up already boys we are gearing up already okay let's pop off here we got a couple other a couple other people up in up in here uh doing some damage we're doing big damage okay we're doing big damage and uh let's boom oh he couldn't even he couldn't even he, he died before the second one we were the, dude big dps we were dealing big damage there he just there was nothing he could do who's this dude who's this dude okay this is like a, this must be a sage a little rune master or something like that this guy's injured back here i wonder what's going on oh 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 yo pull a sasuke kill them all in one one oh oh didn't we just defeat this guy is there another one okay his blade is filled with the divine light and one one cut is all it takes to kill blood beetle okay that was cringe sorry guys that that's cool though that's cool okay now he's a sarcophagus for just he's just now he's just a sarcophagus for some reason i don't know but we're gonna get the crowbar and we're gonna pop this open and uh find, finders keepers losers weepers you know you know the, you know the drill got a bunch of treasure in here we love to see that all gold that we got a mysterious scroll despite all the gold in there apparently the scroll is what we cared most about the warring states manuscript okay we're in some sort of temple it looks like here this is uh ooh, we got some water a little water fountain in the front there like that that looks uh, a little quaint little place here claim gifts for three days okay all right we gotta enter the new moon restaurant let's take a look here oh is that is this whole place the new moon restaurant honestly the theme of this game is actually sick i love the uh the art style here this is really cool we got jin wan tang a skilled antique appraiser from pan's antiquary known as old Jin. okay this looks like uh, a japanese johnny depp that's those are the vibes that i'm getting from old Jin over here but he's one of the best appraisers of the nine so we'll take it let's see if he can appraise that little manuscript we got out of that creepy uh the creepy beetle sarcophagus over there let's see what we got we can authenticate this and bada bing bada boom what is it it's gonna tell us where the uh, ancient egyptian puzzles are just kidding this is japan okay so it was in fact a manuscript uh, and getting it will increase our min and max attack by a flat rate, which is pretty, uh, pretty sick. Let's go ahead and close this because it won't let us do anything else. Claim that questicle right there. And uh, there we go. Level 11. We skipped levels uh, 1 through 10 and we're just right to 11. We're popping off here, boys. We are popping off. There it is. There is our, our Warring States manuscript. If we go into the codex, it'll give you a little bit of backstory about this. Apparently, we get uh, some more free gems, which we love that. They're gold diamonds, I believe is what they're called here in this game this is uh this is one of the dudes that we saw in the cave he looked like he was injured i think king Zhang of lu had an artifact called the ghost seal that allowed him to command phantoms and travel between worlds he also had a piece of jade that could bring the dead back to life 
When the king died, his general, Ten Myansheng, abandoned his corpse and took the ghost seal and the jade for his own. What a scumbag. After a lifetime of plotting and scheming, the man met a miserable end. He's a bad friend. And now, the Warring States manuscript has resurfaced. An epic quest for truth thus begins. That sounds like a whole lot of spooky shit right there, okay? But let's go ahead and pop this open and we'll see. I feel like this thing is cursed, you know? I feel like, I mean, you know, raising the dead with some special jade pieces. I, I don't know, man. I feel like probably we should just give this away and, and be done with it. We wash our hands clean and, and bada bing bada boom. His name is Shades. I, I could see why. My man's rocking the, he's rocking the Gucci's right here, okay? Uh, this job's clearly above your pay grade. I suggest you do some train. Excuse me, sir. You can't even see me. What are you talking about? How, how dare you? Let's open up these chests, the gilded chests. Let's pop these bad boys open. And what do we got? Ooh, okay. The golden gems just fall from the ceiling. We have 460 golden diamonds. Uh, okay. So now we can unlock a skill with those golden diamonds, I assume. And blade wind, let's go. Okay. We deal skill damage to six targets in front of us with a 50% chance to be counted for one more time. So that's good. We love AOE here. That's that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to build all AOE for this character, okay? I just want to I just want to spin with the blade. That's pretty much it. Inflicting pain is easy protecting some of uh, That's a little that's a little deep shades, okay? Can you relax? Yeah, tell us about this fox mask. I'm not I'm I'm a little bit confused. I feel like that's from uh, Legend of Zelda. Don't they have those in Majora's Mask or something like that, right? Okay. Uh let's go ahead and see um I, ha I don't know why it's set to autoplay i can i can control it i don't have to i don't have to do that what's up she kind of cute okay with the bangs i see you i hope we become friends with her she's she's adorable okay a rich collection of artifacts we happen to have the remaining part of this manuscript we're just piecing this together so hang on she has a piece of this you know forbidden spooky manuscript we found in a pirate cave by killing a giant beetle what did she have to do for her piece uh okay if you were given the choice of saving the world at the cost of one person's life or saving one person at the cost of the world i mean it depends on how important that one person is you know is it ronald mcdonald because probably i'll save you know we'll sacrifice the world for ronald but otherwise you know we're chilling beautiful lie or painful truth ah oh, the truth tell me the truth and nothing but the truth okay so we are we are unique apparently so there we go we uh we we got the manuscript shard and we get some new intel from it so we're piecing this together we're trying to solve the mystery here okay just uh let me hop into the mystery machine and we'll get this all sorted out and what do we got here okay okay dude that's oh my god it's a puppy <gasps> wait a minute that's adorable hold up what ho oh okay is this like a we're looking into the future right here i'm hoping we're looking into the future right here because this i am dripped out and I have a dog with a motorcycle. That is, that is, I mean, talk about inspiration. I feel like I've got a, I've got a clear cut goal. I need to get that pooch. Okay. I need to get that puppy right there and, and we'll be popping off. Wang Pang Z over here looking a little bit thick, but he's got the nades on him. My boy stays strapped. Okay. He's just open carrying grenades. Like what's up, dude. We're in a restaurant, like relax. Ooh, this place is looking kind of cool. Yo, this, this game reminds me a little bit of Tenchu. You guys ever play the Tenchu games growing up? I played Tenchu Z on the Xbox 360, man. That game was so good. Obviously, this is more like an action MMORPG. Uh, but uh, some of some of these, I mean, the art style, I don't know. It's 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 giving me big Tenchu vibes. And this wall looks sturdy, might not be easy to smash it down. Okay. Just pull out the nays, bro. Oh, okay. We we're blowing it up. We're legitimately blowing it up. He's not goofing around. Okay, let's place the boom stick, all right? And then we'll uh we're gonna run away. Um boom, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, the <laughs> It only blew a small hole. I thought the whole thing was going to come down. Here we are. We're in Needle Ridge right here. Yo, look at those spooky little demon sculptures. All right. This place is a little bit, uh, a little bit haunted, I think. I mean, if any, if anywhere is haunted, it, it feels like this is probably the, uh, probably the place. You know what I'm saying? These guys got nothing on me, dude. Bop! Oh, yo, I'm not, not knocking them down, dude. I'm knocking them down. These tomb guards ain't got nothing. Yo, look at the candles off in the distance. Like, I'm pretty sure candles don't light themselves, okay? This place is spooking me out. Uh, there's probably a ghost up in here, and there's, I, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you there's a ghost or a ghoul or a, a, a demon, a creature. This game feels like a it's like a, co a combination between, like, uh, Indiana Jones and, like, Tomb Raider. You guys played Tomb Raider back in the day, like, on the PlayStation 1 and 2? You know, like, I feel like those games. That's kind of what this the vibes it's given me. Plus, like, it, but it's like the Tenchu setting, and the story is like the, you know, you, like the original Yu-Gi-Oh! 
this, this game is like a, a combination of a bunch of different things from my childhood which is incredible we're level 18 already boys we are popping off okay, let's put the ghost claw in here we found that in the in the rubble that we searched over over that that spooky rubble over there we found the ghost claw we drop it in there okay remember i woke up in a cave so i don't know wait a minute hold whoa what is that what is that kill it light it on fire yo you got those grenades bro come on yo what is that throw the grenade right in his little stomach opening just just Co kobe just the, oh 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 okay y'all ran and now i gotta fight him okay let's pop off here let's pop off real quick we're gonna spam the abilities uh we're gonna spam that and uh hopefully we can oh my god run ah i'm getting hit oh, i'm getting hit okay let's just let's just let's end this this guy's got nothing on us let's be honest oh 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 i was mid auto attack i'm sorry i'm sorry i was mid auto attack. oh he's dead you thought i mean come on level 19 blood zombie ain't nothing for me i'm level 18. uh so we got a bunch of different loot from that that's kind of cool how it all shoots out and you can see it all on the ground we got a nice little leader's robe that's me boys i'm a leader gained six levels in a row we went from 18 to 25. honestly that feels like my early 20s i went from 18 to 25 real quick <laughs> wang where were you with the nades when i needed you back there buddy uh you know like that would have been that would have been a good time to use the nades that you have literally on your belt like what are you what are you waiting for boom bada bing bada boom let's equip that and we leveled up again let's equip that we're popping off dude we're getting so much gear right now this is insane we are we are gearing up like crazy oh just a casual lava pit yeah we just got a casual lava pit over here the game won't let me jump in <laughs> they knew idiots like me would play and they're like yeah we can't we can't be letting them jump in the lava pit that would be that would be insane there we go oh wang is not even waiting like this 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 bridge appears out of nowhere over lava and he just he doesn't even wait a second to see if it's safe he just runs right across like okay but okay wang relax let me do it i don't you blown up the whole wall again man i wonder which portion of the wall is <laughs> i always used to love that you ever watch like dragon ball z and like one one rock is different shaped and you know like that's the rock that's gonna explode when they shoot vegeta through it or something i feel like this is a puzzle i mean one of these is lit the other one is not lit and everybody knows that it's supposed to always be lit you know what i'm saying i guess i'm gonna have to squeeze through here this seems unsafe but let's just let's just go on in let's yeah i mean it's probably fine right okay what's this dude he's like dripped up like he's got his city clothes on and you're in the middle of a of a tomb my friend you're neat you're needle ridge do you know where you even are lu zhang look these strange lamps one's lit look what did i tell you boys i'm i was built for games like this okay i was built let's let's get out the lighter okay somehow the flame turned green right away easy peasy lemon squeezy let's pop this open wait where's our friend who we found on the other side of the crack over there with the bow and arrow oh okay we're entering itachi's genjutsu what's happening oh this looks like a boss fight okay dude where'd the sword come from that's for oh oh bro what okay um hello yo can you can you freaking get your grenades over here uh buddy wang okay oh 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 I'm stunned I'm stunned come on uh oh 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 I don't want auto combat on I don't need that oh you see me just dodging out of that uh, just dodging out of the way of this undead fox face hey yo we slammed him we crushed him bro we literally crushed him pry this open level 34 we're literally unstoppable uh we're literally unstoppable I'm gonna guess the fox mask is in here if I were to just take a guess there it is dude I knew that would be the case that thing actually looks sick can I wear it right now if I wear it right now do I get the cool sword that he had fall from the ceiling what else is in there we got some incense we got some gold like can we take the gold with us bro I'm I'm kind of broke right now let's just, just scoop that into the backpack you know what I'm saying let's authenticate the strange mask emerald fox mask also increasing our attack sick thank you so much Japanese Johnny Depp uh let's go ahead and level this one up too I suppose oh Hangzhou City all right paradise on earth hustling and bustling so we're actually going to a city now we're not just going back to the uh, Japanese restaurant Ooh, okay so we're, we're in modern times here we're actually uh we got you know we got the Toyota over there nice oh my god this reminds me of Wind Waker except way bigger and way cooler okay dude this, this the art style the theme of this game is just so freaking incredible it's gorgeous all right we're in the pawn shop here let's talk to when we just walked right behind the counter we just we just walked in yeah what's up yeah we're, we're, we work here now we got the archaeology blind box all right so let's unlock a uh an artifact here so here it is we got a box and we tap it and we can chisel oh okay we chisel it away and what do we get here what is this um boom all right we got a pot and oh we could oh ooh, cool okay cool so we get to actually dust it we get to clean it off get a little windex in here 
it's a putong i feel like that's a bad word it's the bronze pig urn sick okay so we got a pig a little uh, cereal bowl let's see what that does it looks like it gave us some stats or something like that oh my god wait they have the puppy hold up hang on what is this oh my goodness he's so adorable boys oh my god oh my god i'm gonna name him lord voldemort okay let's open this we'll see what's going on here what is that dude what is this hello can i help you what this is actually terrifying white hair droger yo that's disgusting i can't wait to kill this thing level 35 what level are we i don't even remember uh okay we're dealing damage we're popping off literally popping off oh oh yo skirt yo i got out of the way he's wearing a diaper i just saw his ass all right let's let's pop off with the skills here bada bing bada boom okay we're popping off we're behind him now and we're we're, we're dodging we're dodging yo we're, we're dealing big damage big damage everybody just pop popping off here we don't need any help oh hit him from range as a sword master see you y'all you, thought you needed you, you thought you needed guns to deal damage at range nope not for me not for me boys not for me bop 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 there he is he looks like a big baby we're in a the diaper wearing baby yo he's trying to puke on me after he dies what are you doing bro let's, let's do this let's pop this open um let's see boop, 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 boop. oh i probably should be careful so i don't break it huh what is this another another little vase here is this a vase it's a can pin cool um oh it's a shard okay let's pop this open again we got a scrap what is that oh that looks that looks rare okay it's golden i mean i like i like golden stuff from from loot boxes okay cool so going through the status here by getting level 40 50 70 that's how you unlock the pet in the vehicle so okay that's actually a really cool one i like that a lot and there's the chirpy okay we see the we saw that other dude running around the city with a little chirpy over there yo the music in this little shop is so good man it's so relaxing i just i could go to sleep to this Okay, so you probably can't tell, but through the magical power of editing, I've actually been playing the game for a couple of days, and you can tell by the absolute drip and the swords on your boy's back. I'm looking good, boys. I am looking good here. Now, I've learned quite a bit over the last, like, two days playing at Time Raiders, and I wanted to share with you a couple of the systems in the game and things that I think are pretty exciting. So if we jump into the crafting system over here, you'll notice you have a couple of different options on the top. Getting better pieces of gear is one thing, so whether it's a, a green piece, piece or a blue piece a purple piece etc those are all higher rarity and thus better pieces of equipment but you can also enhance or bless a particular item now this is more so like blessing or enhancing the slot rather than the item itself and I'll give you an example down here uh if my fat head wasn't in the way you can see that I have the orange wake guards boots and it has a plus nine enhance as well as a plus one blessing with a two star now if we go into my backpack and we go ahead and equip the purple wake guards boots it's going to say that it's a worse piece but I'm going to do it anyway and then if I jump back into the crafting system you'll see that it has a plus nine enhance with two stars and a plus one blessing so unless I'm missing something about these systems it seems like there's no punishment for enhancing or blessing a particular item because once you upgrade it to a better piece of gear you're still going to keep that progression and that enhancement so that's actually a really good thing I don't like when games have methods or systems that you can easily mess up that just doesn't really feel great but whether you're enhancing or blessing both of these are going to give you uh, some stats here now it's easier to enhance a weapon than it is to bless it because it seems like the uh heaven jade items here are a bit more difficult to come by or at least they're a bit more rare whereas for the lazarite or when you get into the higher levels uh, you're also going to need some of the bloodstone as well um these are a little bit more easy to come by than uh the heaven's jade so you're going to be enhancing more than you're going to be blessing but blessing does give you way more stats like here you could see it like almost basically doubles the stats that you get from a single uh, or going to a plus two blessing whereas for here if i go from four to five i'm only getting like 
a little bit of extra stats here you can also refine these pieces as well this will actually add additional stats to that piece so as you can see here i have a plus one on my ring head sword and that gave me the attack increase per level plus one now this special stat is randomized which is a little bit unfortunate but it is exciting to see if you get something that is actually good for that slot and you refine this in a way similar to rise of kingdoms for example if you've played that then of course it's sort of like getting a crit on a piece of gear and getting that special talent right that's kind of what we have here with the refinement system which is pretty familiar i would say and then you can illuminate the orange pieces over here which is sort of like expertising them in rise of kingdoms it just gives you a ton of bonus stats when you are able to do this but this is uh i've yet to see any of these here so we'll have to learn together next let's take a closer look at the artifact system which you can see over here and this is sort of what the entire game is based around as you can see the sort of tutorial or beginning of the game has you collect these three artifacts right here and if you take a look off on left uh again i'm sort of blocking in here but there's a bunch of different artifacts that you can can collect and these come in the form of summons and they are also different rarities so for example if we take a look under the mountains of steel you could see that i got the bronze pig urn okay and this is the blue rarity but if we go over to wind and moon you'll see that i have the four-legged ritual wash bin and that is a uh, orange piece which is more of like a legendary or more rare piece and collecting these artifacts will complete this set but you also gain a bunch of bonus stats when you do rank up these uh, particular artifacts which is going to be super important now these artifacts being divided up into different sets here is relevant because if you come over to the bottom here you can see that if you obtain all of the different artifacts for that set you're going to get a bunch of bonus uh, stats and also when you soul fuse each of these pieces uh you're going to gain even more bonus stats which you can see here there's in the top right there's soul fusing and this gives you some bonus stats to the actual piece uh but also for the total set if you are soul fusing a bunch of them and it looks like there's going to be artifacts for particular events so some of these because they are sort of obtained through a summoning system similar to like gold keys in rise of kingdoms or like event banners in tower of fantasy or genshin impact i believe the event artifacts may only come around for a limited time don't quote me on that that might not be entirely true but that's sort of my understanding of this and then if you're a fan of Pokemon you can go into the codex and this will show you all of the different artifacts on the codex and this is sort of like a Pokedex that's kind of how I'm looking at it and how my brain sees this now if we take a look at something like the prosperous coral tree this actually has an artifact skill called spellbound and this will permanently increase your monster experience bonus by 10 percent so as you can see here this is i mean this is one of the event artifacts but um these are pretty powerful when you start to incorporate skills rather than just flat raw stats because these have them as well this is sort of like the commanders in this game so in rise of kingdoms you collect different commanders in time raiders you're going to be collecting different artifacts which i think is pretty interesting next let's talk about relics because there are four different relics that i can tell right here i only have three of them at the time of recording this but these actually give you some skills i can slide off to the side here so i can point at my level seven for the feng shui orb i don't know if i pronounced that properly but increasing the first skill for this relic gives me more basic stats but if we move over to heart for example which is the second skill down here you could see that when receiving damage from a player you have a 20 percent chance to increase max hp by three percent for three seconds and of course you can level up each of these skills as well so as you progress through the game you're going to unlock more skills from these relics which is pretty interesting so there's no like building technology or research technology or anything like that like you would see in like city builder games so as you can tell that there's relics and artifacts and weapons and a couple of different systems where you can boost your stats in those ways as opposed to the ways that you might see in a city builder like rise of kingdoms but my favorite system is the pet system because oh my goodness look at my good little boy oh my god oh my god he's so cute he caught the bone he caught the bone now right now i'm using my cute little chirpy okay little chirp boy let's see what he does when you tap his little stomach he tries to fly and he fails it's so freaking cute but look you can evolve these little pets uh and they're freaking sick adult chirpy is a savage is he supposed to be like a police officer or is there some is there some other symbolism going on here i have no idea but as you can see here there's a this is what i guess like a 
catfish or a dogfish reindeer i i really i have no idea uh, but manny is another puppy which is absolutely adorable oh my goodness and there we go adult nanny with the leather jacket so freaking cute dude so this is uh you know this is another system and I've, as you can see um in the open world you can see my little my little pet does follow me around as i run around and he actually uh collects items for me during dungeons and things like that which i think is super cool but on top of that uh there's bonuses to having these pets as well so you can see here monster experience bonus is 25 percent with young chirpy when i get him to 18 chirpy that goes up to 32 percent as well plus i'll get a damage bonus versus monsters as well so there's just a lot to love about this system because it's not only adorable but also there's like benefits to actually doing this as well now if you look right over here there's a motorcycle button and uh your boy did unlock the motorcycle so my dreams did come true i got the puppy and i got the motorcycle which is super cool and honestly uh you could do this you could do this too it's actually you get this stuff through pretty much the tutorial but having mounts in this game dude yes please every mmo should have mounts i don't care about the game design or anything there should just always be mounts in the game now of course there are different rarities as well as skins for your vehicles here you can see the blood beast is a little bit different than the cruiser that i have now there's also different levels of the uh vehicles as well and they do give you some stats so uh, i'm really looking forward to see what they do with this system it looks like they only have motorcycles in right now but i can almost guarantee you that they're gonna have uh some some more to come for the vehicle system which i think is is pretty cool by far one of the best parts about this game so far is all the different dungeons that you're exploring and all the different monsters that you can encounter but also there is an auto battle feature that you can turn on for this game and so if you're going to clear content that you sort of already expect that you're going to be able to finish then you don't have to actually sit there and grind through everything you could sort of just let it do the grinding on its own which is cool because there's been a lot of times where I'm actually busy doing something and I can have this game just off to the side doing its own thing and I'm actually still making progress in the game which I think is actually really cool now right now I'm playing with two other players Wu and Chen and I found these players with the matchmaking feature but there's also a clan system in the game which is super important for this video because I created my own clan for you guys specifically the clan is literally called Omniarch you can't miss it it's got the I don't know this looks like a demon lion or like a chimera but with only one head red square yellow demon lion you can't miss us on North American server 5 and for all of you who are watching you're not only welcome to join my clan but if you use code Omniarch you're gonna get a free gift here in time Raiders as well just click the little envelopes at the top of the screen go down to pack exchange and type in Omniarch and there it is the reward is sent to you via mail 1500 gold diamonds and three artifact vouchers for free i hope you get something good because i need you in my clan i mean just look at this dude look at look at this big old rat man I, I need you guys also there's so many free items that you can get by starting time raiders right now i mean the game just came out imagine if you started playing rise of kingdoms when that game first came out imagine how good your account would be today well with time raiders coming out right now this is your chance to jump in and get all of the early game rewards the devs are just pumping out free stuff for players right now which is really exciting and it makes the experience really fun and playing it alongside everybody and again playing this alongside you guys would be much more fun I want to take this moment to thank time Raiders once again for sponsoring today's video make sure you click the subscribe button and stay tuned because we have more time Raiders content coming over the next couple of weeks so if you don't want to miss that click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a time Raiders video with that being said if you enjoyed the video go ahead and drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton thank you guys so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon Peace.